Coriolis force is zero at equator, highest near the pole. Is this clear? So these three forces are actually <coughs> affecting the wind speed and direction on the earth's surface. Now let us talk about geostropic winds. Okay, so when three forces, pressure gradient force, frictional force and Coriolis force is acting, the resultant movement and we can say speed and direction of the wind is we can say final direction. All three forces are generally acting when the wind is flowing along the earth surface. The, when the wind is flowing along the earth surface, which are the forces? Pressure gradient force, Coriolis force and frictional force and frictional force is this fine now when we say that there is no frictional force when we say that there is no frictional force that means wind is moving at certain height at certain height let us say that 2 to 3 kilometer above the earth surface. When the wind is moving above the earth surface at 2 to 3 kilometer height. So, at that time no frictional force acts on that wind. No frictional force act on that wind. So, in this case if we draw the isobars like this. If we draw the isobars like this and if I am saying that these are the high pressure areas and these are the low pressure areas. The wind is trying to uh, let us say move in this direction but now this pressure gradient force is countered by let us say pressure gradient force yaha se is direction mein. Now this will be exactly countered in opposite direction by the Coriolis force as there is no frictional force. These three forces were balancing and there was resultant wind direction. But now there is no frictional force. These two will try to balance now. These two will try to balance. So, if the pressure gradient is in this direction, then Coriolis force will act in this direction. In this direction and these are the parallel isobars, the resultant wind movement will be in this direction. These are parallel isobars. Simply understand here, the geostrophic wind is that wind which moves or flows at certain height above the ground and here the pressure gradient force and Coriolis force is balanced by each other as they are acting in opposite direction. Okay. They are balanced by each other and the resultant wind direction will be parallel to isobars. The resultant wind direction will be parallel to isobars. Ye isobars aise hai to resultant wind direction parallel to isobars. These are called as geostrophic winds. Example, best example of geostrophic winds is jet streams. We are going to learn about them, air masses, jet streams and their role. Okay, jet streams. Briefly, I will explain you how these jet streams are formed. Because there is no third force. So, two force ek dusre ko balance karenge na. Huh? See, <coughs> when we are saying that pressure gradient is acting in this direction. Theek hai, high pressure to low pressure. Pressure gradient is forcing in this direction. So, 
the another force which will balance this force will act in opposite direction no Yes. So yes. Not, not deflected either in this direction. Rather, it will move in a parallel of isobars. Wind will not move in this direction or in this direction. Now, it will try to move parallel to isobars. That's why I am telling you, Coriolis force is now balanced by this pressure gradient. Okay. It is balanced. जब दोनों एक दूसरे को एक ही direction में खींच रहे हैं, तो wind बोलती है कि ठीक है, मैं इस direction में चल रही हूँ, तुम खींचते रहो दोनों direction में. Okay, that is basically geostropic winds. Okay, jet stream का example है. You may have come across the term jet stream in this chapter. Pay attention here. <coughs> Just now we learned that there is high pressure near the poles. There is high pressure near the poles. So, whenever we have high pressure near the surface, there is always opposite pressure point or area is formed in the upper atmosphere. Always. So, when I say at equator there is low pressure, in upper atmosphere, that is in upper troposphere, in upper troposphere, there will be low pressure form. Oh, sorry, high pressure. Yaha pe low pressure hai, to yaha pe high pressure. In the same manner, here there is high pressure. And in upper atmosphere above the pole, there will be low pressure. There will be low pressure. Now, wind around the low pressure will try to move in a cyclonic manner. It will try to move in a cyclonic manner. We are going to learn about this. Ye video may be end me bataya tha na. Low pressure ke around wind kaise move kar raha hai? In a cyclonic manner. In northern hemisphere, it will move in a counterclockwise direction. In southern hemisphere, it will move in a clockwise direction. So let's imagine that here, around this low pressure, the wind will try to move in a counterclockwise. My hand is also moving in a counterclockwise direction. The wind here is forming or moving in a counterclockwise direction. And it forms an isolated area called as polar vortex. It forms an isolated area in the atmosphere called as polar vortex. Okay, fast moving winds. Hai. Fast moving, because here it is very strong low pressure. If it is on the ground, it is strong high pressure, then it is on the strong low pressure. Okay, and this is called as polar vortex. Now, when there is winter in the northern hemisphere, when there is winter, then what is happening here? Apparent movement is on the south. So, what is happening here? This high pressure on the ground is becoming more stronger. Ki further lower temperatures, during winter and that's why this low pressure becomes more stronger these winds become more stronger and try to extend to the lower latitudes and they try to extend to the lower latitudes and they get now separated from this polar vortex as a separate streams of winds moving from west to east direction counterclockwise west to east direction when i say they get separated they get separated and move like reverse of wind they move like reverse of wind reverse kaise hota hai narrow channel mein uske andar pani beh raha hai fixed channel mein to waise narrow channel mein kya hota hai ye abhi wind move kar raha hai but at faster speed these are called as jet stream where they are formed in upper atmosphere kahan pe move kar raha hai ye upper atmosphere mein. Now, in upper atmosphere they are formed. That means there is no frictional force. Now, these winds are experiencing the balance gradient force and Coriolis force. And that's why they are moving along the isobars from west to east. They are moving along the isobars from west to east. 